Good evening, everyone. <sighs> Hope you're doing well today. Um, I'm going to play something called The Little Shepherd by V. Mirzalis. I think he's Italian. And it's a cute little song, and it's foreshadowing of one of the songs that we're singing tonight, and it, it asks Peter, if you follow me, your shepherd, you too will become a shepherd. So I thought this fit. It's called The Little Shepherd. It's like the little shepherd went to sleep and he fell asleep on like the soft lamb and all of a sudden the twinkle star goes <laughs> <laughs> oh fun stuff all right so we're gonna start here as soon as joe gets over here hope it's sounding good <laughs> i'm over here <laughs> i found my way you found your way. Hi. Um, there's actually one verse that has, I was wandering. You were wondering where I was. I was wandering. A and then wandering. we asked okay. God to, you know, bring us back. So um, let's just sing of the Lord's goodness. What should be the name of the song? Oh, you know what? It's sing of the Lord's goodness. <laughs> All right. Your verse two and three. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Glory, 
praise Him with your music, worship Him and bless His name. If you're having one of those weeks where you just want to stop for a second and and relax, then do that with me. Um, Let's take a deep breath. A deep breath. Oh God, today, today is April 13th. Um, it would have been my, my brother Richard's, I want to say, 58th birthday today. We lost him five years ago. and um, So pray for pray for my family today as we as we kind of process that and uh, but God we we, uh, we lift up folks that are that are dealing with loss we lift up Amy um, and uh, and like I said my, my family in addition those who are who are um, dealing with health issues th- um, those that are that are close that come to mind um, Dave Bob Monica and Justin and uh, Edie and Edie and God we just we just pray for for healing we pray for comfort we pray for strength Lord Um, we don't always know why you um, why you allow these things to happen or why they do happen Lord but we just pray that that in the in the in the uh, recovery and the in the illness that we that we take time to know you Lord that maybe Maybe we slow down enough to listen, and uh, maybe I slow down <laughs> for once, Lord. But, but uh, we love you, Lord. We trust you. We praise you, and and we thank you for for music because it all it all comes from you. And you'll notice most of the words we sing tonight are are directly out of the Bible. Uh, much better think in Luke. But uh, but Lord, we thank you. We thank you that we we have this opportunity to spend with with our friends tonight. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to read from Luke tonight. Do you want me to hold that? Is that heavy enough it for you? It is a big one. <laughs> okay. And um, Father Tom likes to use this reading for um, special occasions. And <sighs> there's just some parts in it that I just really love. This isn't the part with the naked man, is it? No. Okay, wow, good. That was so, Sorry. like, <laughs> random <laughs> in the gospel and on... <laughs> You just <laughs> never know. There's always something fun and interesting. Palm in Sunday. That. I was like, what the heck? And then Father explained it. But yeah. So anyways, these are two of the Jesus' disciples, and they're walking away from Jerusalem. They're like, we're out of here, and we're you know heading to Emmaus. And then all of a sudden, this stranger joins them, a stranger. So it's a stranger who joins them. I'm going to kind of interrupt the reading if you don't mind because I have my own commentary I'm to imagine <laughs> that okay. all right so now that same day two of them were going to a village called Emmaus about seven miles from Jerusalem they were talking with each other about everything that had happened as they talked and discussed these things with each other Jesus himself the stranger Jesus himself came up and walked along with them but they were kept from recognizing him. He asked them, what are you discussing together as you walk along? They stood still, their faces downcast. One of them named Cleopas asked him, are you only a visitor to Jerusalem and do not know the things that have happened there in these days? What things, he asked. About Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. He was a prophet, powerful in word and deed before God and all the people. The chief priests and our rulers handed him over to be sentenced to death, and they crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. And what is more, it is the third day since all this took place. 
In addition, some of the women amazed us, the girls. They went to the tomb early this morning, but didn't find his body. They came and told us that they had seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. Then some of our companions went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but him they did not see. He said to them, how foolish you are and how slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Did not the Christ have to suffer these things then enter his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. So it reaches back all the way to Abraham, the foreshadowing of this event that had to take place, the cross. As they approached the village to which they were going, Jesus acted as if he were going farther. But they urged him strongly, stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he disappeared from their sight. They asked each other, were not our hearts burning within us while he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us? I love that sentence. Like, <laughs> how often are we, like, dense? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> and we're like, oh, this is, like, something special. And we're not even noticing it because we're, like, too busy. We're off in our little la-la land and don't even notice that this is a powerful moment and we don't notice it. Were our hearts not burning within us? I love that phrase. So anyways, it's just a good wake-up call, wake up, for us to um, pay attention, be present. And Jesus was there, and then he's like, psych. <laughs> like, he leaves the room. I never quite understood that. He vanished within their sight is another way of saying it. So anyways, I'm going to sing the song, Two Were Bound for Emmaus, so it can sink in. And it was the, the breaking of the bread part that... Um, is where they recognized him. And he gave us that gift, and we get to have that every day at communion. Two were bound for Emmaus. Two were bound for Emmaus, this All their hope for the future had been nailed to a cross. Love unknown then walk beside them, come back from the dead. And they knew he was risen in the breaking of bread. On the sea of Tiberias, had they caught from the shore a stranger called to them cast your net friends once more and they filled it to bursting but the net was not torn then they knew it was Jesus, and they hastened into shore. Bread and fish for their breakfast from the hands of the Lord. Oh, Peter, if you love me, you must care for my sheep. If you follow your shepherd, then a shepherd you When our labor seems lost, when 
we fire up the weakness and too high seems the cost let the church turn to its risen lord who for us bore the cross and we'll find our hearts burning at the sound shepherd in there <laughs> our heart's not burning within us mine was so i'm kind of going with that theme in this song the first verse has where our hearts not burning as he spoke we're not our hearts yearning for the word of god this is called in the breaking of the bread we did it on sunday but i want to do all the verses because they're so beautiful
like the whole story from after when Jesus was risen and all the things he did with the apostles. Hey guys, just cast your nets on the other side. Just one more time, okay? <laughs> cast nets, aren't those those little Mexican musical things? Like you mean castanets? That's what I said. Yeah, uh-huh. All right. So we've been having our hearts burn within us. This is Soul on Fire by Third Day. Hear birds? I do. <laughs> okay, I there's was birds chirping. Me hurting it's something. It's not your imagination. <laughs> me hurting something. Me hurt. I heard something. <laughs> you wow. Go birder. Okay. God, I'm running for your heart. I'm running for your heart till I am a soul on. I'm longing for your ways, I'm waiting for the day When I am a soul on fire Till I am a soul on fire God, I'm running for your heart I'm running for your heart Till I am a soul on fire Lord, I'm longing for your Burn for 